Hi, I'm Jenny, Benevolent Dictator at the Botany Bay. And after you've done stuff with the things you bought, we figured you could use some music. So we're happy to present to you Musical Musings, a showcase of local music, and Marissa is the host. Hey everyone, I'm Marissa Hempel, host of Musical Musings for WBON, and we are so happy to have Botany Bay sponsoring us. Now, it's not necessarily a requirement that you have to buy stuff to do stuff with, but it is highly recommended. Right, Jenny? That's right. Visit us at 980 Commercial Drive in Richmond or 420 East New Circle Road in Lexington. All right, are you guys ready? Here's another edition of Musical Musings. Hello and welcome to yet another edition of Musical Musings by WBON TV. I'm Marissa Hempel, as always, and I'm here with some old friends at this point, Bedford Band, but they've come a long way in the six months, I would say, since we've last seen them, because they have a new release that just came out just a couple days ago, and it's pretty exciting, and it sounds a little new, so I'm definitely looking forward to hearing some of this, but I will definitely introduce the guys, just in case you didn't catch their last edition, and Sam's hurting my plant already, it's the, the day is young, and we've already... <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to... I mean, that's what happens when you play hard. <laughs> But yeah, so we've got Trevor here on guitar. We've got Colby, who I gotta give Colby some flack here because Colby didn't show up last time, right, Colby? He's just gonna be silent back there. <laughs> I was saying that he was like the the church player on his organ back there. But that's Colby back there. Um, he does guitar as well, but we're gonna have him on keyboard today. And then we have Sam, who obviously has um, one of the voices, and then he plays bass. And then Tristan on harmonies and drums. Yeah, which we love to hear because that's really cool. So you all are still in school, right? I mean, does anyone want, who wants to take this up? Let's just shoot it to Sam. You guys are still in school, right? Yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, so yeah, I picked the right person. The only one that's not still in school. <laughs> I hate. See, I just know. It's like I knew. I was like, this man. Yeah. Well, how's that going for you guys? Yeah, but I feel like part of the allure of you guys is that you guys are classically trained musicians, right? All of you are, whether I'll, you're in school or not. I'll probably keep going with that, too. Like, I want to get a graduate music degree because you're exactly right. Like, our songwriting gets better as we learn more theory, as we learn, take more classes, you know, which I think is like, it's not required, but it's definitely an advantage. It, you know, you can learn that stuff by yourself with YouTube and reading books and stuff, but we have people going, hey, go to class, learn how to do this chord change, learn that drum feel, you know, and it definitely helps having the motivation. Sure, and you don't, <laughs> you don't really see that as much anymore either, right? Yeah, the, I, the program that we're in, I don't know what's going to happen to it after we all graduate, you know, I think it was kind of like a lucky deal. We got to college at the same time they opened the program, so commercial music program that is, which is basically rock and roll 101. Yeah. I mean, it, they just teach you how to play the songs you listen to anyway. So. Well, whether it's natural talent or what you guys have learned, it's I know, and people are about to find out that you guys definitely know what you're doing. I should mention, because we have wonderful sponsors at Botany Bay, which they have a new location. I don't know if I'm really even able to leak this yet, but we're going to go ahead and do it. So they have a new location in Lexington at 1757 Alexandria Drive. But of course, they're still here in Richmond. You can get everything you need, including CBD, all that good stuff that, you know, is really popular now at 90 Commercial Drive, which, for those of you that don't know, it's right down the street from the studios where we are right now. So, you guys just released a new album. Trevor, do you kind of want to tell us about it? Yeah. Um, on this new one, we got uh, a lot of new original tunes. Uh, we all kind of pieced together and wrote, wrote them together. Yeah. Um, it's a, like a 10 song album. So, it's going to be a full length LP. Got a 15 minute jam on there. I highly recommend you checking that one out. Which one's it's that? be like, no. But listen to it. It's called Reflections. Get all the way through it and just kind of sit back and take it in. So it's even longer than Freebird, which we were talking about before everybody got here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Your most requested, uh, you know, not original song, right? Uh, just the most requested song out of these bands. Right. But the, the cool thing is, definitely, the cool thing is you guys can do it. And that's kind of the thing I said the first time you guys were here is that you all are able to kind of acclimate yourselves and play pretty much anything, especially to an older crowd, which I know I beat a dead horse to death on that one last time, but it's true, like, you guys can pretty much play anything, right? Uh, and I gotta give props to Brennan Meek at Mountain Arts Center, where we recorded at. He did a great job, uh, and just anywhere we go, I gotta say his name, because he's awesome. The, awesome. The, the song that came out 
yesterday uh, is actually just a single, though. Uh, we recorded that at Blackbird Studios in Nashville, which is like, was a dream come true going there. Uh, so shout out to them and Brian Clark who produced it. But yeah, it's called Got to Go. That's probably what we'll play first. But uh, that one, I hope, will change some things for us. <laughs> it's yeah, it's very commercial. It's three minutes. It's like radio friendly. We're hoping to just get it out there. If it's a gamble and I'm throwing dice, I'm saying buy me a new car. <laughs> You're like, now's the time, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Danny needs a new pair of shoes, yeah, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, Tristan, how is this different than your all's EP in the past? Okay, well, besides the budget, just having more money to spend on recording and recording nicer places, like, it's not, like, Glenn Ginn, our, our professor, we recorded at his house on the first one, um, and we're definitely proud of it. It's definitely going to stay in our catalog, and we play those songs just about everywhere we play. But you just hear the difference. Not only are we better songwriters, we recorded on better stuff, but probably more than all of that, I think we found a sound, if that makes sense. The EP was kind of like, you go from one song to the next, and you're like, wow, is that the same band? You know, it takes a second to realize. But on this one, it's like, there's still a little bit of that, but at the same time, you know, because we like to keep it experimental and kind of diverse, and you know, but at the same time, it's definitely in a, you know, oh, that's Bedford. That's their sound. Uh, I think that's probably going to be the biggest difference. It's just, it's not all random ideas. Well, I saw you guys posting stuff, and I saw you all in Nashville, and I was like, hell yeah. I was like, you know, you guys are killing it. Mm -hmm. So do you think it takes recording kind of that second album to kind of really, and anyone can answer this, but do you think it really takes, like, recording multiple albums to really find your sound kind of thing? Oh, yeah. Either, yeah. A lot of that's playing live getting to know what what feels better to you and like the way you sound it's definitely and conditional the way the audience perceives it because like with this band we've grown up together like I, you never hear about that anymore just people being like i've been with them since i was a little kid now led zeppelin probably recorded led zeppelin one but they were already like accomplished musicians who just found each other within london or wherever it was at like yeah. then they were like Let's, yeah, let's go to the States, let's take over the world. So, I, I mean, it, it's it's really conditional on who you are and what you do. I think, yeah, like I see bands that their first album takes off, but they're 28, 30 years old when they're doing it, and they've already recorded other albums. I mean, it's sincerely like, as musicians, you know, you think that sometimes, well, the producer will make me sound good. No. You, you know, they'll make you sound better, but if you don't know your part when you show up, if you don't know what guitar tone, what drum tuning, what, you know, how you're going to sing every phrase, then, and obviously there's some improvisation in the studio, but really, you know, it comes down to that. Like, I think we were just more mature in the studio. We kind of like sometimes calling the shots about what guitar tones we wanted to do, you know, and that's and it like was a, yeah, you the know, pros, that's thing. what like, they do. You know, everybody the, had a voice in it. Right. Well, I definitely want to hear some of that. I know you're the first song that you guys have ready. I think it's Got to Go, right? We're doing Got to Go yeah, first. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's that was my request, <laughs> right. but you know, I don't always get my way. But I was just checking. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think we kind of get a good feel of that with your all's first song. And I know we had to kind of tweak a little bit just so you guys could play it here for us. But we are definitely excited to hear it. So if you guys are ready, I'd like to hear kind of your single that literally just came out. So people that are watching this, this is brand new because this will be out, you know, sometime very soon. So let's hear it. Got to go. Can't hold it any longer Cause I have hit the wall You beat me to 
till I cry. Now you're gonna be a lie. So don't fall my teeth before that cold steel grind. Can't take it any longer, baby, that's for sure. Whoa, whoa. You've seen my train coming and I got to go. Awesome. I love it. That's why I wanted you guys to play that first. Cause like, oh, you know, it's, I think, I mean, it's, it's the single, so it makes sense. But I should say before we get back into it, of course, we're sponsored by the lovely Botany Bay, the place to buy stuff to do stuff with, which we're all, you know, fans of here because they make this happen. Um, you know, this podcast was just a dream <laughs> when they came around. So I definitely want to know, there's some differences I definitely can already tell between the old EP and then the new album, which we don't know a lot about yet, but that was your single. So who wants to tell us kind of what your new um, inspirations are, I guess? Well, it was kind of the same inspirations. We're just, we didn't really know what we wanted last time, you know? I guess, I guess we just really found what we wanted more in an album and songs, really, and what we wanted it to sound like in these past you know, a year or two since content's been out. I'll it's be just, honest, but it's this definitely song, evolved. But this song, Got to Go, like, when I wrote that one, I was like, I want to write something that'll sell. Just be real. Like, I wanted to write something that had lyrics that everybody could understand, a, a progression that everybody could understand, and something that was three minutes and 20 seconds. He, kept, like, he kept saying, hand me that guitar, I'm going to write a song. And me and my buddy were like, you ain't going to write a song, whatever. You're not going to write just thing, talking yeah. crap. Like, he was like, bam! And I was like, oh, what? I, we were listening awesome. to that one too. It was a whole lot of love that I was listening to. And I was like, you know, they're not... Because I feel like with the, the EP, for me, is like uh, one of the main songwriters, I was trying too hard to be weird and artistic. Cause like, And I guess on this album, there is definitely that weird psychedelic artistic that's there. It's just later. You know, you kind of have to like catch people's attention with like something that they can sing along to and be like, oh, that's about leaving this. Okay, I can relate to what he's saying. It's there. just more of a mix of that. Right. And, yeah, mm -hmm. it's the, more of a mix of the two. We're we're less trippy and psychedelic and weird and more. Well, in some not, in, in some cases, and more in the other, it's weird. I don't know, man. Yeah. Well, Trevor and I were talking before y'all got yeah. here because y'all were late. I'm just kidding, but <laughs> we were talking, and we were like thinking more, I mean, it was his idea, obviously, but more cream, kind of Eric Clapton stuff, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I can hear that, for sure. They have, yeah, and that's, it's like, you listen to Cream, uh, Sunshine of Your Love, that's a very commercial song, everybody knows that riff, but then you listen to, what's that, Piff Rat and the Warthog or yeah, something? The Pressed Rat and the Warthog. Yeah, it's just like, this is the weirdest stuff you have, you're like, it's for shits and giggles, blue, like, blue Condition, that's a great song. So, you know, it's, I feel like every band has to have a mix. It's your deep cuts that, you know, only the true fans be like, yeah, I, I, I like that. But you also have to write some stuff that's like, no matter who you are, you press play on that, you're going to be like, that was good. I enjoyed that song. Does that make you feel kind of like a sellout, though? <coughs> no. 
I call that no, paying the just, bills. Yeah. No, like, I don't. No. I, it's not a sell because sell out to me would be like. There's no such started, thing as a sell out anymore. If we put a trap beat, that's the answer I want. I'm not trying to, you know. If we everybody put a trap beat out. on our music, you know, and like stuff like that, or like <clears> I don't know, over reverbed it and made it all vibey and stuff, then yeah, we'd be selling out to the convert like the new sound of the day. You know that I don't even know what you call it, but we we still play our own instruments. We still write our own stuff. There's no tricks to that. You know, when you listen to that, those four dudes playing that stuff. So, it's not selling out until I don't have a job playing the drums. We start <laughs> using drum beats and samples and stuff. To me, yeah. that's that's where I'll be like, okay, yeah, we really... Right, like 808 heavy. And, right, yeah. yeah. I mean, and, Wings but even the Rolling Stones <laughs> went through a disco phase when disco was big. You know what I'm saying? So, in my mind, it's like, stay relevant. <laughs> you know, like... Well, that's what I like about you guys, though, because even if, let's say, God forbid, disco came back, you guys could, you know, you could adapt to that mm -hmm. and make it work. So, but I have to say, I have to be devil's advocate here. So, it seems like these days, and you guys as fellow young people, mm -hmm. <laughs> hello, fellow kids. Um, What's up, fellers? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It seems like hip hop's kind of taking over the game, and there's not like indie was really big for a while, right? It, it was and, huge for like four right, years. Right, and then we've gone in this hip hop thing, but now it seems like we're kind of getting this Americana, country esque, Chris Stapleton, which we talked about last time, Tyler Childers kind of thing. So, how do you all fit into that? Because times are changing, and. Well, so Tyler Childers is probably my favorite artist right now. And just like a lot of people in Kentucky, I don't try to write like you know what I'm saying? I can't. I can't relate to that. I didn't grow up in the woods. I grew up in the suburb in suburbia in Mount Sterling. You know, I think. Like, I think we fit in in just the fact that we, at, we and all of those guys write all of our own stuff. It's all original. All, it's all like from, per, like, from the person. It's all personal from experience. The heart. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. I'll tell you the only thing that we're similar is at is writing about the human experience. Yeah, yeah. that's. that's all I mean. Is. And I would honestly say we follow more under Sturgill's new record than we do anything. Like, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, Colby, what Tyler, do you think? Colby's been really quiet. I want to get Colby to talk. I know. He's stuck back there. Screen back there, Colby. <laughs> what? Yeah, you what? Colby, what's your experience, you know, with writing and with music these days? What do you think? Weigh uh, in on this for us. Well, I don't necessarily have much of an opinion on today's. I think, you know, it's all a mixture of some of it's business, some of it's kind of free creativity, you know. I know, like, there's a lot of flack on, like, Sergio's new single out, because that's pretty drastic. I think it's his choice to do whatever he wants. Artistic expression, yeah. yeah. Which is kind of what you guys did with this new one, and that's why I was glad to get you all back in here, because it seems like you guys have changed a little bit. So I know you do have another one ready for us. Which one is this one? So this will be off the record that's coming out October 4th, um, which, a little plug, we have a release show at the Burl that day with Short & Co. and Ivy Rye. I love, okay, Ivy Rye. Yeah, they're releasing a single, and we're kind of... I've been trying to get them in here, but they're so busy. Yeah, they are. They, yeah, they, 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 they do a lot of stuff, man. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. But this one's called Jump Into the Sun. Oh. And, you know, I don't really know what it's about. It's just kind of like, let's party. Who wrote this one? I did. Okay. Yeah. But this one's kind of more of a Rolling Stones feel. Okay. I'm yeah. down. I'm ready when you guys are. Thank you. 
moment of silence because it was just so good I just <laughs> I need to compose myself so I I see where you're coming from with the Rolling Stones but honestly the harmonies were better I'm just gonna say that I'm sorry <laughs> like your all's harmonies are amazing and that's what I said last time I said Crosby Stills Nash and Young like instantly um and also Colby's organ really brought that together so it was nice having him in here Mr. Church Man as I'm <laughs> calling him he's like Marissa please shut up <laughs> No, that was amazing. That was really good, honestly. <coughs> so, are you guys doing stuff like that live? Because I know you guys have been touring a lot and hitting up pretty much everywhere in the area, right? Yeah, we, uh, the cool show we played like, a long time was Saturday. Uh, we played at KS Bar in Lexington, Kentucky Sports Radio. Oh, yeah, uh, Matt Jones' place, yeah. Yeah, we got a picture of Matt Jones. Hopefully, he's going to play Got to Go on his radio podcast, so. If we get him as an endorser, I mean, it's over at that point. He's going to be a senator, so. <laughs> so, I was not expecting that because Trevor and I were talking before you all got here that this album is more Sam-heavy, whereas before you guys kind of shared vocals. So, what was the decision for that? I begged Trevor to sing more. It was more just like it came out that way. I, I, it, it really just, I love Trevor's voice. I wish he sang half the time. No, you do. should write a love song to him. This I, is so you sweet. Know, I'd write songs. I've got a couple. I wrote, I've like, got a couple. There's a, there's a song, no, I'm joking. There's a song called Saturday Kobe's like, get me out of here. That was intended for Trevor to sing. And there's been several times that it's, it's his song. It's just he's like, let's sing. But I made him sing Jones' son. I was like, 
you yeah. No, I was that. surprised. I turned the levels up. I was like, oh my god, because I wasn't expecting that. Verse. No, he did wonderfully, and he's doubting himself. Yeah. So I'm about to kick him out of the studio right now. Aww. I'm just kidding. It's so, not that. I swear, I just <laughs> I'm usually playing a different tuning, so it's open, and then I went. I went. Ah. Uh. Listen, it sounded amazing. I that I wish it was perfect. Listen, I I lied <laughs> it's to you people a lot, like, I but I wouldn't have perfect. lied and said it was good if it wasn't good. Like right. Marissa's hairs were standing up. I was feeling it. I was jamming. Like it's a good time. Right. Thank you. So one more thing about touring and stuff. What have you guys kind of learned by going to these different bars and doing stuff differently a little bit? Besides being in the studio and being at school, I guess is what I'm asking. I feel like at our live show, like whereas most bands, you know, you say an hour set, they'll play ten songs. We'll play three to four because, and that we still play an hour. It's just they're that like long. Your songs are longer, yeah. yeah. And and even like how we're playing them today, like Jump to the Sun has a big intro. Oh, they're super short. You, know, yeah. you could have played more. We well, always we have all the instrumentations and stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's just like the live. We consider ourselves like an Almond Brothers type jam band. We try to take as many solos, as many improvisational <laughs> intros and outros, like. Who really knows where to Listen, as long as you're not like Godspeed you, yeah. <laughs> I think you're going to be fine. Like 40-minute yeah. <laughs> songs. I think playing in the bars has taught me a thing or two. And it's like, if I don't change my ways, there's going to be hell to pay. Well, Are we getting deep a, right now? Are no, we that's from an old song. That that's from Colby's song. Oh, okay. <laughs> Colby's said, just like the, the whole day, he's just been like, leave me out of this, hey. you guys. Colby he's like, I'm just right. here to play the keys. <laughs> Awesome. Well, you all have one more song for us, right? Yes. Which I just want to hear. And this, is this one off the new album, A Trip into the Sun, as well? Yeah, this one oh, is. Sorry. This one's a song. <laughs> wait, this wait, one's wait, one wait, 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 wait. Do we want it? Would you rather hear a funky song or the song we play with the harmonies at the beginning? It's a kind of like DJ. Well, this is up to us. I choose funky, honestly. I like this. Okay, then we'll do the song. This, is, this is a song that we all wrote together. This one's called Fruition. This is Wait, is this the one that's really long that you said was like 10 minutes? I mean, you can play No, the, no, that's, no reflection. that's Reflection. Okay, so that's like it's you said, the show. more Almond Brothers style, like long. That one's that like one. Boy, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so really long. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's play this one then, so yep. I definitely want to hear it. So this is kind of a taste also of what's on the new album, right? Yep. Which, by the way, who can tell us? I don't know if Sam or whoever wants to. Um, when is the new album officially dropping? October 4th. Okay. October 4th. Where can people get it? Everywhere. Um, everywhere, but you should probably go on our website, thebedfordband.com. Pre-order started today. Pre-orders. Oh, they're working now? Not. Sweet. Yeah, the, they'll be here when this comes that out. Album right now. Right this second. Right this second. All right, right for everyone second. watching and listening, you can pre-order that right now. Yeah. And this comes out later, so you should have done it in the past. Right, like this yeah. is, you know, a week in the past. Yeah. So we're coming to you from the future, from the past, rather, saying, why did you pre-order Bedford's new album? All right, well, what is this one called one more time? Uh, fruition. Okay, I'm ready when you guys are. It's the last song on the album, and the definition of fruition is the end. Is it that? Is, is to bring something to realization. To okay. And to end it. <laughs> okay, not to be like Oxford Dictionary on your butt, but yeah. Okay. All right, I'm ready when you guys are. <laughs> <laughs>
absolutely amazing and I'm so I'm kind of glad in a way I hadn't heard that one before but we have like six cameras in here and I know Austin was saying earlier it's like every single one of them is rocking so that's <laughs> a good sign okay so I have good news so whereas everything else I can find an influence with you guys that one is completely Bedford 100% so I don't so know if that was the goal that song is <coughs> that's where this would bring back the first topic about education that's where that comes into play that song has measures of 7-8 5-8 it's in weird time signatures, so right. like, yeah. I think that's that's my favorite song that we play because we all wrote it together. Like we all room. just yeah, we all just got in the practice room and wrote it. We like were like, we need we need to write a song room. today, and then left with that. I yeah. love the bromance of this, you know, <laughs> <laughs> of Bedford. I've yeah, known these. Do. I mean, we've known each other since right. we were like it's, six. I so. know. <laughs> that's why I was. Uh, and I think that comes across in your all's writing and playing together, you know, you guys might bicker like we all do, but you guys seem to really, you know, have your sound, and I don't know, I'm all about that, I really actually love that, I'm just going to listen to that in my own time if I can, I'm going to have to pre-order the album, I guess, <laughs> so tell people one more time where they can find your music, uh, thebedfordband.com, yeah. and all of the other interweb music sites, like Apple Music, Google, Google Pla, and... Uh, Spotify? Is it going to be on Spotify? Spotify? I thought so, yeah. And YouTube, you can't forget Yeah, YouTube. YouTube. We'll put it on there eventually. Gotta monetize the YouTube. Yep. We're going to have mm -hmm. a video coming out soon, too. So. Yep. Music video. Oh, okay, it's fancy. Gonna yeah. So what, where are you guys, guys going to film that in, uh, is that Montgomery County, or where are you going to do it? Yeah, we're doing it really cheap. Just going to do some we might do it in, in a van. Either Montgomery County or Lexington. Okay. Or that area. Gonna, yeah. It's going to have a story of just like, probably Sam killed somebody, you got to get out of town, and then. Colby's Why is Sam? I wouldn't pick Colby's Sam. A, as Colby's being a hobo, and Trevor is going to be in the backseat the whole know. time. And no. he, he was escaping from hobo prison. Hobo is a derogatory term. I would just say freeloader. Or freeloader. Okay. That's what about worse. vagabond? There you go. Yeah, yeah. vagabond. You know, it sounds I've never. fancy. Honestly, no. I would pick <laughs> I mean, Colby the as the uh, manslaughter candidate because he's Honestly, so quiet. Yeah. That's yeah. Funny that but he, it's got to start out with me getting in the van because I drive the van. Yeah. Are you the you're the driver? I'll be yeah, I drive it. I'll be trying I'll to get my Miller sponsorship too. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. 
<laughs> we'll have to censor the cam though. That's awesome. Well, good. So you guys have a lot of exciting stuff coming up then, yeah. right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. We'll just send it to them, say it's a commercial, just give us three years. I'm having a kid. No, I'm joking. I'm, I'm not. Well, Tristan's uh, no, getting married, right? Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, he is. Yeah, November 15th. Old Tristan's getting married. You can't come, though. Yeah, you guys, you guys are <laughs> no, not you come. come. Sorry. I, most people can't. It's See, I'm never probably getting married. getting married at this rate, but if I do, I was going to ask you guys to play my wedding, but forget it. <laughs> <laughs> that was so weird. I was going to ask you to marry me. No, oh, okay, so are you, <laughs> so you going to play at your own wedding, then? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's already planned. Okay. It's already planned. You're playing at my wedding? Oh, great. Oh, I thought that was Yeah, who's playing? Who is going to play at your wedding? Nobody. We're getting a DJ. I'm dancing. You're going to drop so that ass? I'm so hypercritical yeah. of music yeah. that, like, when I, I don't know, I couldn't, Roxanne. I couldn't be thinking of, like, dancing right. when there's, like, unless so it's let's really just go for Cardi B. Right. Exactly. And all right. that stuff. Uh, Purple well. Rain theme. We're probably going to just play Purple Rain nonstop the entire night. That's just sick. On loop. <laughs> just on loop. Are you sure I can't be invited? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can come. And then there's also a new song by Prince that's probably my new favorite. It's called P Control. Okay. Oh, yeah, oh, come on. Yeah, you probably can't say that over here. No, that's literally what it's called. It, it's, yeah, on, it's P dot control. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, oh. but it's got a more. It means more. It means a lot yeah. more. Than well. <laughs> Well, awesome. You guys it's absolutely really killed song. it, as usual. Of course, Thank we're you. sponsored by Botany Bay. I have to mention that again because they're so wonderful to us. A place you can buy stuff to do stuff with. And, of course, there's the new location, which you guys may not know about yet, but just to remind everybody, it's going to be on 1757 Alexandria Drive in Lexington. Of course, we're still here in Richmond, which a lot of people here in town hit up because that's the place to go. So I want parting shots from all you guys, and we'll start with Trevor. I mean, is there anything that you feel like – needs to be known moving forward um if people want to check out your music or what they need to know what what can they expect kind of from each of you guys i want to know all is water mm. what does that mean that that doesn't mean anything trevor come on we're taking a logic class are we doing are doing are we doing like a haiku right now yeah like, no <laughs> just say nothing exists without water okay okay that's fair all right moving on to colby <laughs> colby what do you got to say the mass murder in the corner. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm a big advocate for if you have downtime. I mean, everyone has, you know, everyone has a life. Everyone's got things to do. But if you ain't got anything too important going on, just come out and see live music. It doesn't necessarily have to be us, but go support other people because it means a lot to have, you know, for a band to play, and there's no people there, or even if there's just one. Yeah. Not counting the bartender. Well, right, plus yeah. you guys don't make Jack S. Like, I'm trying no. to <laughs> Nothing off streaming anymore, so it's like, that's why I go to, I go to like one show a week on average. Because I just yeah. love live music, and that's the way you all and, make your bank. So. And you never know who your new favorite band will be. I mean, yeah, you might, you might find something new. Like, there's so many people I wouldn't have discovered if I didn't just say, Hey, I'm gonna to go to the bar tonight. Yeah. For the band. Yep. Very true. And they could stink, but they could also be your new favorite band. Yeah. I mean, I mean you're not really out anything. But you'd be surprised at like how good, uh, like how high quality the local music scene is. Uh, and you just got to go out and see. Just go check. I mean, there's, there's, there's a this thing called the inter Googles. Inter Googles, yeah. yeah. The interweb Google. Yeah. Google the Google machine, yeah. yeah. It'll it'll uh, it'll yeah. guide you. Yeah. I'm gonna agree with you just because I don't want you to axe murder me when we leave the yeah. party. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I told Colby I was gonna give him a hard time because he wasn't here last time. Alright, Sam, what do you have to say? Parting shots. First off I wanna say Colby that was beautiful. Um <laughs> but You're also beautiful. thank you. God you are too man. Thanks. The love in the room is yeah, just so Yeah, it's powerful. I can feel it, man. Yeah. <laughs> I just love when they call you beautiful and you haven't showered. Right. No makeup on. But I did shower. What are you trying I to say? Showered. Okay. I just want to say that thanks for thanks for listening and thanks for everybody that has ever come out to one of our shows or anybody's show for that matter because it means a lot like Kobe said. That's about it. Awesome. And then Tristan's Mr. PR, so I'm sure he's yeah, gonna. I've got, I've got I'm sure he's got. He's gonna have a scroll. I he's do. Gonna I've be already got. So, so my spiel would be 
like, yes, it's good that Sam says thank you, because, like, without what we've had so far, we couldn't do things we're doing now. But at the same time, like, we didn't pay for a PR campaign. We don't have PR. We don't have a manager. We don't have anything. We are completely DIY, which means, like, we don't understand, you know, we have to put in the work to gain those things. It's not like we're entitled, but at the same time, it really does, at this point in the game, with the music we've just dropped, I feel like we have a good product. It's up to the people listening, the people who follow us on Facebook, Instagram, to share that stuff. Put it on their, their Spotify playlist, and like really, there's only so much PR we can do for ourselves. Yeah. I, I'll post every day, and I, I invite people every day, but it really comes down to the fans yeah. kind of putting in some legwork too, not because they have to, but... If you because, like it, why not? Right. It, that is really what's going to... If this band ever takes off, I don't think it'll be because of a label. I don't think it'll be It'll be because enough people like us that a label's like, what? we ask the label, what can you do for us? Instead of them being like, let me throw you this, you know. Instead, it's like what Tyler did with RCA. It's like, what can you offer me instead of... Because he already had the following. We're hoping that this new album is our quote-unquote purgatory, you know, that helps get us the bigger stuff later but also you know if that's as big as we ever got i'm i'm happy i just want to be able to pay my bills but and play music yeah. yeah to live comfortably you know we do need to be making more money we're all living really tight i don't know about them but i am i'm living I mean, it's scraping the bills you know but i'm happy because i get to do this as a career but it really does come down to like you the listener helping us because you know People don't know about us right now. I mean, people do, but as not as much as I'd like them to. And that really, there's only so much sharing I can do myself. So. He said you and pointed at Gage in the chorus. After you, Gage. It's all on Gage. Well, anyway, I think you guys are personally killing it. That's why I was so glad to have you guys back. And I hope you all keep us in the loop mm -hmm. in the future and let mm -hmm. us know. Because I see you all posting stuff. I'm like, yeah, they're in Nashville. They're recording. Like, that's <laughs> so exciting. So you guys, to me, are a success story already that we've had on here. Oh, for sure. I'm very thankful. Yeah. Very thankful. If this is all that ever happened, I would still be happy with it. You know, it's just, I see there's more. You know what I'm saying? There's more to it. Like, we have more places to go, more people to see. More shows to play. Well, hopefully you'll remember ride. us. Absolutely. And mm -hmm. play at each other's weddings one day. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could play to your all, but I I'm never getting married. <laughs> so. I feel you, man, but we're not going to get into that because we're out of time. Oh, what a shame. We're out of time. I'm just kidding. Well, it was a delight to have you guys back on Bedford Band. You guys are here. absolutely awesome. And I will definitely be checking you out across every bar, pretty much it seems like, in Central Kentucky. But for another edition of Musical Musings with WBON-TV, I'm Marissa Hempel.